So you know the feeling when you log into Roblox with the thought, Oh, I'd sure love to play some good games right now, but then Roblox says, I HATE YOU! And gives you thousands of bad games? Yeah, I think we all experience that. And today, I will explain exactly why good Roblox games are not popular. I want to make this video short, so let's say I have about, um, five minutes. Let's start, shall we? Let's begin with the reason number one, the Roblox community. Unfortunately, not even 10% of the platform are people who want to see truly underrated and high-quality games. Let me explain to you this simply. Let's imagine you're an eight-year-old child, a main audience for Roblox, and you log into the platform. What's the first thing you see? Yeah, you may see some high-quality and unusual Roblox games, but will you click on them? It's highly unlikely. And even if you do, you will not play for long. This exact child would instead opt for something like Skibbity Toilets or a Blade Ball, a game that we will discuss later. All you need to do in these types of games is click, win, click, lose, get frustrated, and keep playing until you win again. That's it. So now let's discuss the second reason for why good Roblox games are popular, and that is competitiveness. When a child feels fulfilled, be it from killing someone or being on the top of a leaderboard, that's when he keeps playing. Like, have you ever noticed that the majority of front page games have some sort of competitiveness in them? Like, it could be PvP, leaderboards, or anywhere where you can get ahead of others. That is one of the reasons why PvP games are so popular. It's just as shrimple as that. Now let's discuss the third reason, and those are the games themselves. When people are talking about underrated Roblox games, they probably mean those that look amazing but are actually quite boring to play. Like, yes, some of the games are truly underrated, and they are extremely engaging. Yet there is always a reason why they don't succeed. Developers may have never tried to reach out to YouTubers, leaving it to die without any recognition. Or they may have never tried to think about the player's perspective and how they would play the game. That's, unfortunately, how most underrated games are made. They are usually made from passion, talent and vision, but not experience. A game created by experienced people will always get more players, in contrast to passionate and talented people who have no idea how anything works. That is essentially the reason why most underrated games fail. They are simple. Boring. Now let's discuss the final reason for why good Roblox games are not popular. And that reason is simple. Microtransactions. Imagine yourself in a position of Roblox. You have millions and millions of games and you have to select only a few of them that are truly worthy of your attention. And which games are worthy? Yes, those that bring the most money to you. In essence, games that are actually useful to the platform will get recognition from Roblox and they will get out of front page. Like, have you ever noticed the fact that every single front page game relies on microtransactions heavily? Roblox does not want games that players won't invest their time in or won't spend their money on. For example, if a game is a 5 minute long game with an interesting concept with, with no use to Roblox whatsoever, it will not get recognition. At all. As bad as it is to say that, that's how real world works. You have to provide value to others in order to get attention. For example, I got your attention just because I provided an entertainment value to you. Your view is beneficial to absolutely everyone. You because you are getting entertained, me because I'm getting popular, and the platform because it gets money from the advertisers so it keeps pushing me up so it could get even more money. That is essentially how Alsa Roblox works. When you are playing the game, you are either investing your time or money in it. The game provides you with an entertainment value. You are providing the game with a popularity surge, and Roblox benefits from the game because it has taxes. The problem with underrated games is that they may provide value to you because you will like the game, but it's highly unlikely that you will keep playing this game or you will invest money in it. The competition between front page games is just too heavy for underrated games to handle, so they are getting thrown away. And we're done! And now we stopped at 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Pretty good, should I say. I genuinely hope I answered your question, and I'm also gonna look out for your answers and theories on this topic, so make sure to comment down below. That's it. Goodbye.